Once upon a time, in a land full of wonders, there lived a kind little fox named Finley. One day, while wandering through the sparkling forest, Finley discovered a hidden door beneath a glowing tree. Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to get started with OpenAI.fm. On this website, you will find interactive demos to try the new OpenAI's text-to-speech model using the Response API. So over here, you can select different voice you want. You pick the vibe or click this button to shuffle the vibe. I will change the voice to Alloy. Then we select Bedtime Story as the vibe and click Play. Once upon a time, in a land full of wonders, there lived a kind little fox named Finley. One day, while wandering through the sparkling forest, Finley discovered a hidden door beneath a glowing tree. I'll stop it and also change it to another one. Once upon a time, in a land full of wonders, there lived a kind little fox named Finley. One day, once you test any of the voices, you can download the one you prefer or share it. You can also switch on the code option to try it through the response API. So in this example, we have the voice as Onyx. Let's copy the code. We are going to try the Python example. So I will copy everything here and go to Kesa. Over here, I will add a new file and call it onyxvoice.py. Then I will paste the code and save the changes. I have already installed the OpenAI SDK. So over here, you have noticed I don't have any error for the imports. To test this example, I will go to the command line and run the file. First, I will navigate to this directory and run the file onyxvoice.py. Once upon a time, in a land full of wonders, there lived a kind little fox named Finley. One day, while wandering through the sparkling forest, Finley discovered a hidden door beneath a glowing tree. So in this example, I showed you how to test the test-to-speech model via the API. So what we can do for this code is that we can also create a gradual interface or streamlet or chainlet interface so that we will be able to pick different voices to run this example. So that is exactly what I did for this example, summavoice.py. So this example is exactly the same as the example we copied from the openai.fm website. But here we are creating a streamlit interface so that we will be able to pick different voices. So before you try this example, you should install streamlit by visiting streamlit.io. If you navigate to docs, and go to the installation section. Over here, you can install it with this command. So you copy the command and install it in your project. Before we go through the code, I want to show you what I did. I will press command and L to bring the chat window in Kesa. So over here, what I did was really simple. With the previous code I showed, that is onyxvoice.py, I added the file as reference, and then I added this prompt, modify the code to create a streamlit app using Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. So with a single short prompt, I got the Streamlit UI generated for me. So the code you see over here is the same as the one we have here, with nothing changed. So over here, the model added an input text area. Next, it created another text area for the voice instructions. And over here, it added a picker so that we can select from different voices. You can also switch the model. Then lastly, there is a button to generate the audio. I will press Command and L to bring the chat window again. Over here, after generating the code, you have noticed it added this command, streamlit run, followed by the directory and the file name. So we can run this command to launch the streamlit app. Thank you for contacting us. I completely understand your frustration with the canceled flight and I'm here to help you get rebooked quickly. I just need a few details from your original reservation, like your booking confirmation number or passenger info. Once I have those, I'll find the next available flight and make sure you reach your destination smoothly. So as you have noticed here, we have the selected voice as Shema. But let's change it and choose, for example, Onyx. Then we can generate and play the audio. Thank you for contacting us. I completely understand your frustration with the canceled flight, and I'm here to help you get rebooked quickly. I just need a few details from your original reservation, 
So this is how to get started with OpenAI.fm to test different voices for your text-to-speech AI projects. I showed you how to test voices on the website and also how to get started with the response API. We also generated a streamlit UI allowing you to switch models and voices easily.